thing I do is like the guy I try to light the seats. It's all of the reason I've ever been trying. It's a sad way to make it a short shit, but I'm not even trying. Cry on a good day, carrying my way just to take my love. I ain't never gonna be a hard way to make it be. Bullshit and tell you rather turn it into compost. Choke. That every time I let you get a smile when I show you that I'm happy even though I'm broke. Why? Cause at least I got to hear you yell at me with your face and your love on the carry. Hi. James Comic Guy on the Bike. Got a special shout out to our viewers in Russia. San Luis Obispo, California. And Central Oregon. We're gonna run in here to Super Rough. This is kind of a special installation sponsored by the Outsider Art Fair. Special guest curator, Dashaki Murakami. Well, this is kind of a, an extension of the uh, Outsider Art Fair. Oh boy, which is organized by this gentleman, Andrew Edlin. That's James Calm, thank you. Hello, hi. <laughs> uh, I guess I am supposed to get, have some kind of uh, ticket or a, uh, VIP pass, I just uh, schmoozed my way past the ladies at the desk. Well, this is, uh, as I was saying, it's kind of a, an ancillary event. Uh, this year's Outsider Art Fair was restricted and they had to have it in it's four or five private little galleries rather than having it in a pavilion or something. So uh, this is one of the opportunities to kind of extend that. And I think one of the interesting things is that this is mostly, well, maybe it's all sculptural. Let's take a uh, cursory stroll around here and we can just look at some of these pieces. Excuse me. So the title, Super Rough, is a uh, kind of an ironic play on Murakami's movement, Super Flat, that he kind of burst on the scene with about 20 years ago. I think we've seen work by some of these people. I think that is Jack the Steyer or something like that. I think the other thing that's uh, Kind of fun about this show is that this is all happening in Soho, which was the world's 
most densely populated gallery scene in the 70s, 80s, and 90s here in New York. And this might have been gosh, someone's gallery back in the 80s and 90s. There's a lot of work here, so maybe we'll just pick out some uh, highlights. I was uh, speaking with Andrew Edlin about this piece by Gustan Seziak. Totem Christ Mashot. This is 1964, oil on wood. And Seziak was one of the people that uh, was in a dialogue with Jean Dubuffet, one of the, or probably the uh, discoverer, inventor, categorizer of Art Brut at the beginning. Let's see what else we've got here. It's kind of a nice piece. Chico Tabibu. This is Untitled Rooster. Uh, I think one of the interesting thing, things that we're going to see is that a lot of this is wood that is kind of odd and strange in its own right. It's by an unknown artist. And uh, I guess there's a surrealist word Andre Breton has, I can't remember what it is, the, the means of the, the found object. As opposed to the Duchampian kind of uh, repurposed object. Oh, we've got another, I think, a sub plinth on a plinth. It's a selection of work by John Byam, B Y A M. just wood. Oh, this is kind of fun. It's by Sylvian and Geistian Stallions. S T A umlaut E L E N S. Title Cavalier. It's also by Sylvian Geis Lane. Personage. And again, we've got uh, the lot, a lot of the found wood like hand weaving things, rusty wire. Well, I would also be interested in knowing how much uh, Murakami was involved. It says that he curated this and I wonder if he actually went out and hand picked all these works. Saying that these pieces are just memory wear Untitled. Oh, these are eye catching. It's by Monica Valentine. It's your untitled mixed media. Well, I've been uh, doing some studies on the uh, avant-garde or theoretical avant-garde art movements of the 60s, 70s, and 80s, 90s in New York. And uh, this makes me think of a well-known artist, Rhonda Zwillinger, who passed away recently and was uh, known for her work with beaded surfaces, glitter, mirrors. Ryuji Nomoto. 
These are untitled. Well, I don't know who these uh, cylinders are by, but uh, it's nice that they have a couple of them laying over because you can see that these uh, would look like dots on the outside. They're actually nails that go all the way through there. And we've got some uh, spaceships by INL Talpanzan, who I believe was uh, one of the uh, the fixtures in the early days of the uh, outsider art fair. I think he would come up and sell his wares on the street outside the, the fairs at the Puck Building. It's a piece by Hawkins Bolden, Untitled Scarecrow. And uh, well, I'm uh, I'm disappointing myself. Hawkins had a show. At Shrine about a month ago, and I missed it. Well, here's a piece by the great Lonnie Holly. We've been following Lonnie's work for many years, and I think the first time I saw a quantity of his work was when we were visiting the Bill Arnett collection in Atlanta, probably about. Uh, 12 years ago. I think this is he who makes the frame for overlording of women who cuts the, who cuts the stone. Okay, back to the table. These are uh, punchy, these are bright. Paul and Mar. And this one is titled Tigers and Lions 2013. Paint, glitter, and seashells. Also by Paul Amar, La Surrière, Surrière. It's also paint and seashells. Okay, so we've got a line of ostrich eggs, and these are carved by Jules Battle. Got a little magnifying glass and we wanted to get down and see the details. Oh gosh, that is some fine work. These ceramic pieces are by Sinichi Swada. They're untitled. George's Lautaub. Raymond Cohen, Coins, Alligator, and Turtle. I 
Guess it looks like Alf, the little uh, space alien from the 1980s sitcom. This is by Jerry the Marble Fawn. And uh, I think we were drifting through the Lower East Side about six months ago and we dropped in and saw a show. And uh, Jerry the Marble Fawn had a couple of pieces in that. And uh, as I understand it, Jerry was uh, involved in, I guess, in a state out on Long Island that was turned into a play called Grey Gardens about a couple of eccentric ladies, mother and daughter. And Jerry was the gardener. Okay. Well, we've seen uh, a little ceramic cameras by this artist before. Alan Constable, I think he's Australian. It's by Richard C. Smith. Called Night Rider. The Seer. Oh gosh, we've got some uh, chicken bone sculptures by Eugene von Brochenhain. These are by Maruch Mendez. Yumiko Kawai Circle Bird Around Cloth. More Yumiko. that. It's titled Circle. Oh, this is, uh, this is an interesting piece. It's by George Widner. And it's the Titanic. Metal wire, paper, tape, marker pen and natural fiber string. Okay, we've covered George, even talked to him at one of his openings, but I've never seen any of his sculpture. This is pretty interesting. And I would say that is 67 inches long. It's nearly five feet. Michael Najjar, Najjar, very well-known French artist, and I, as I understand it, a lot of his work he takes out and buries in the backyard for a couple of months, maybe longer. Judith Scott. Even the outsiders have acolytes and people that they've influenced. This is Tony Pedamonti, untitled. And Judith was known for her wrapping objects with yarn and string and cords and various things she would find. It's like Tony's. Uh, doing a similar thing. Gosh. This is Francis Marshall. 
Only contemplant son shin. Man contemplating his dog. Okay, that's kind of uh, icky looking. Hans Schmidt. More Hans Schmidt. These are nice. Moses Ogden. It's a portrait bust in wood. God, the grain in that wood is just beautiful. It's also Moses. It's titled Twisted Head. Standing boy. Emily Rader, nineteen seventy. Let's look at some of the stuff that's not on the main table. This is Campbell Smith, Capitol Building, 2016. Oh gosh, we'll see if they've got little whacked out insurgents trying to break into this. This is cardboard, foam board, gouache, and oil paint. ACM, untitled. Plaster, plastic wire, metal, paint, and wood. More Hawkins, Bolden. Now, as I understand it, Hawkins is uh, actually blind and uh, he basically puts this stuff together by touch. And I was talking to Scott Ogden and saying, how does he get such a great uh, color thing going with these pieces if he can't see? <sighs> anyway, oh. I guess Hawkins has his way. This is a whole table full of work by Kazumi Kamei. Kamei? These are all fired clay. This is the uh, dedicated to Coney Island by Tom Duncan. Okay, we've seen this before. This is maybe one of Tom's largest uh, masterworks. He worked on this from 1984 till 2002. And it's 96 by 90 by 48 by 84 inches. Well, Tom is an interesting cat. And as you can see, not only is he a, a, an, an artist and craftsman and a painter and all these other things, but he's also a uh, an obsessive collector of uh, 
toys and memorabilia, souvenirs. I guess I could sit here and turn on the buttons maybe. Okay, burning bra. Where is that over there? This is Howard Finster, the devil and his wife, plans to take over the world. Okay, again, I've seen a lot of Howard Finster pieces, but it's rare that you would see a uh, sculpture. And I like Howard because he's got a lot of text in his work, a lot of it's quotations from the Bible. by an unknown artist. So the execution of Private Slovak. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this might be uh, maybe one of the only uh, Execution by firing squads of an American soldier during World War II. Something like that. This is mixed media. 74 by 21 by 12 and a half inches. Okay, so they got the whole explanation there. Oh well, Samuel's pair of ostriches. Gosh, more wrapped objects it's by Cindy <laughs> Goslin. Gulme coughing now. It's more Jerry the Marble Fawn. This is Indiana limestone with crushed terracotta and olive patina. Okay. There's also more of the marble fawn. It's Prospect 2009 alabaster and salvaged barbells. Ted Ludzek. More by Ted. Terry Terrell. Unknown artist. <laughs> Get unknown artist as opposed to anonymous artist. More Hawkins. And we're going to wrap up looking at this Gulame Halafegna wall. James Com reporting on Super Rough, the Outsider Art Fair. Guest curator, Tashaki Murakami. It's on 150 Wooster Street. Well, we love our outsider art stuff. The unknown, the anonymous. You can like this, you can share, you can subscribe. You can link it up to all your social media sites. 
And you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and reviews below. And if you're an outsider, <laughs> tell us where you are. We just ask you to say, thank you, Kate. Wow. Oh, thank you, thank you.